All right, everyone, we're back. Um, we are, I believe, going to take on the boss of this level. So let's go see old Papa. Tell him where you're already. I'm ready. I did upgrade my um, hammer. So we'll see how we do. Hopefully this ain't too much. Hopefully it ain't no level jump or anything. Go, go, go. Where are you going, Dad? There are more enemies up ahead. Damn it. It's all right. I'm gonna use my hammer. My war hammer. here taking damage taking them apart all right where are we going daddy oh can you can you feel the enormous energy through this crack of light i can feel plenty now that i'm so close i feel so insignificant the north wind knows no fear follow it yes commander I still gotta go to sticks. Wonder what the hell kind of monster this is. It seems like something big. Let's see. Okay, that's a bigger than big. That's huge. I guess in the hands. Oh, jeez. Let me see if I can get this one. What? Unlock both sides first. What does that mean? Okay, I'm doing something wrong.
I think uh, I'm running around aimlessly. It looks like I gotta go up these walls. Shit, he's taking a lot of my lives. What break, you piece of crap. for it. I'm trying to aim on this fucker. Hopefully it hits him. most of his health. I actually do while I'm in battle. I'm gonna make myself so strong. I'm gonna get the 50 and then I'm gonna focus on everything else. I feel like I, I, I think we're getting toward the end of the game. So maybe it's another playthrough on my own time. I hate when that happens. He has a shield, right, guys? Jeez. Hit him on fire.
Check out his hands. I'm gonna try to take him out. Ah. Not enough magic. Still hit him with fire while we're behind the shield. I got him. Yeah, you stay in play. Did we win? Now what? execution was almost perfect thank you was that approval not entirely if we were to do it again i'd take another approach and move to a position above it i can do even better once is enough and don't celebrate just yet we haven't recovered the spark yes sir you look like you still have a lot to say if you have any questions make them quick this place isn't safe I could be wrong, but I just can't shake this feeling. You entered the Glittering Deeps alone, and you were after the spark from the Titan. Was it an order from Eumenides? It's all part of Operation Ashwind. It's not your place to interfere. But this isn't a simple mission. I can help, just like now. Stop asking, child. I will not involve you in this. Do you have any questions? Even if I were to concede that maybe Humanities really does want to save Aphis. When all order was lost in the city and the cult rose to power, all he did was turn a blind eye to what was happening. Does he really care? That's not how I see him. Everything that Humanities does stems from a sense of guilt and remorse. He didn't turn a blind eye. So what exactly did he do? And I don't mean the ritual and whatnot. I mean, what more did he do? I have no interest in defending him. All I can say is that he's not someone who knows how to communicate with people. I don't know if he was originally like this or if he was affected by... Affected by what? <sighs> I've said enough. Do you have any questions? Humanities needs you because he wants to hold the Trinity ritual again, right? I know how dangerous that ritual is. He's using you. Using us? Did you come to the mine solely because you knew I was here? It was because... It was Minerva who asked me to come. She only agreed to help you find me because you promised to come here and help her with something. Isn't that right? But to let a child enter a mine alone, does that woman even care for your life? Is she not using you? You've assigned me dangerous missions. Those were reasonable missions, not suicide missions. If I have what it takes, it's not a suicide mission. Huh, that's easy to say. Until the one occasion when you don't have what it takes. You sounded proud of me when we defeated the Titan. What do you think would have happened if you faced that thing alone today? In any case, I don't think that woman is as trustworthy as you say. Do you have any questions? And you have asked enough, child. What do you plan to do now? I... I need to contemplate what you've just said. Minerva taught me not to make decisions on impulse. I may not fully understand what you mean, but I'll find the answer. I see. It looks like you might have made some progress after all. All right, enough talk. Let's get the spark and leave this place. Yes, sir. He's a little harsh on her, I think. So, what led you to search for the spark? That's all that has a feeling. Help the adherents remove the curse. 
Once we leave the glittering deeps, I'll go with you. I'd like to meet this Minerva you told me about earlier. After that, you are to obey your orders and report back to Ludwig. Understand? Papa, I can help you! You know I can! I just did! The first rule of frontline combat, obey your commander's orders. Yes, sir. is very sensitive. Even the slightest magical wave will set off a strong reaction. Mm, I... And they left us hanging there. The abyss brings unfathomable danger. But it can also be a new opportunity. Even if there is a price to pay in the darkness, we must persist with courage. I believe that the key to changing Aethys lies here. Hilda, you're finally awake. Are you all right? Huh, you look fine. Phew. At least I don't have to worry about your father now. Uh, where's Pa? Uh, I mean, where's the commander? He had some minor injuries, but could still move around fine. He left in a hurry after bringing you here. This is the part where you thank me, and we no longer owe each other a debt? Wait, how long's it been since he left? A while now. He couldn't take you with him, so he asked me to take care of you instead. That can't be right. He knows you. He wouldn't trust you to take care of me. Ouch. That was hurtful. Maybe he was touched by my sincerity. All right, all right. He did wait till you were almost awake before leaving. He is not easy to be around, by the way. He left? Just like that? <laughs> did he say anything? He, uh... He said he won't involve you in the troubles in Aethys, and ordered me to ensure that you leave. But... I'm not a soldier. I don't have to obey his orders. And you've done so much to help me. So don't worry. I'll respect your decision. Uh, thank you. After all, I'm in no rush to go back. 
So apart from you taking me back to Anbari and Shackles, I'm willing to cooperate with you on everything else. And now you're trying to bargain with me. <sighs> Damn it. He said he'd go to see Minerva with me. You talking about your father? He seemed to be in a hurry when he left. He must have his reasons for leaving. Take all the time you need. I'll be right here if you need me. We just walked back to Minerva in the shelter. Meet. Okay. What did you do? The commotion seems. I've sealed the tight. Oh, right. How easy there. It's a lot. Come. What is it, child? Oh. See if any actual dialogue. What do you want to ask? No, 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 no. That's not. Okay. The mine still holds many secrets. Where is the save point? There's a save point. I wonder if they're here. They here or no? Maybe they're up here. Barrel Shreya mission. I don't know. What the heck they are? Let me go to the beginning of the level. Trail. No, this way. I always mix this up. to meet you again. You appear as alluring as a rose blooming in the sun. Asteragos has obviously not diminished your beauty one bit. No need for niceties. Let's get straight to the point. You've always been loyal to him. What made you want to defect to the adherents? He forced me to disobey the creed of the gods. So I... Uh, I can no longer serve him. That's a departure from what I know of the Archon. I thought he was someone who would place more importance on power and reputation. Did he reveal his true self while he was imprisoned? Allow me to be frank. Before he left, Petrius said he was going to pay Eumenides a visit. Eumenides merging with the Nexus aroused his interest. It also inspired him. So... I understand. You're not telling me anything I couldn't have easily guessed myself. 
But do you know how Eumenides regained his consciousness? And why he can move freely around Aphis? You don't understand the theory behind it, but I do. I believe that this will help you in your quest against Eumenides. You know much, it seems. Bion, are you ready? Any time. Are you using Oracalcum shackles? I can sense what this man is holding in his hands. They will temporarily seal your magical powers. I hope you understand. I'm not afraid of being restrained, but I have to remind you that Oracalcum shackles won't be effective against me in my current state. What of your oath to the One? Do you still uphold it? If you want us to work with you, I have some conditions. You cannot betray the adherents, and you must keep yourself to yourself. Furthermore, you must disclose to the adherents everything you know, and your movements will be monitored closely by Bion while you are in the shelter. Are you willing to swear on the honor of the One to accept these conditions in exchange for the aid of the adherents? I, Uranius, swear on the honor of the One to accept the conditions laid out by Mistress Minerva of House Law. I do hope the journey isn't too long. Lead the way, Mistress. Hilda, we'll return soon. Could you please return to the shelter ahead of us? But Otto... Don't worry. Bion will be in charge of bringing him back as well. All right then. The revered High Priest, the Archon's successor, of whom the Archon has high expectations, is also a hypocritical politician and a murderer. Fanaticism and ignorance have caused Arrhenius to fall from his height of power into an abyss of despair. Only by recognizing one's sins can one see the light in the dark. It's said that at the stakes, people can give up everything in the pursuit of self-actualization. Is it magic that has twisted our nature? Or is this what we truly are? Now, see, I didn't see that. We gotta return to the shelter for two things. Because sometimes I skip stuff. I'm not skip stuff on purpose, but, you know. I could do any other upgrades. I feel like I'm so maxed out. I'm a hammer. Ooh. Level 10. Can I get um enhancements? Thank you. I'm gonna just sell some stuff because I want to get my level 10. Watch me sell something I need. I feel like I don't really need these. I'm just. That's worth nothing. That's a long way to go. what we could do here. Really hope I didn't sell anything I need. We'll check it out. 
I gotta really pay attention to what I'm like using for the upgrade, so I don't gotta like, oh shit, I sold it, duh. Like. That's fully upgraded, so. See what Minerva says. Mistress, I still haven't located Tanrius and his wife, but I did find some of their research notes. They're a record of the key items they were looking for. Hmm. We must repair the Nexus. Spark? Titan? Why the three? They were after the keys. It's incredible. The Nexus isn't repaired. Performing the ritual will cause it to shatter. Because the structural matrix has been damaged? Yes. Although the relics will ensure that the ritual is successful, the compromised structural matrix will disintegrate once the ritual ends. But everything will be fine if the Nexus is repaired before the ceremony is performed. Tanrius thinks that the key to repairing it lies in the deeps. I was able to secure the spark that Tanrius was searching for. Just look at the energy it contains. I didn't know Starlight as pure as this existed in the world. Now we can repair the Nexus. Also, the thing that's been causing the anomaly in the mine for the last thousand years has been sealed for now. So you can safely reopen the mine. Does Avalon know? Things are difficult for her. I'll tell her later. Please speak. You seem surprised to hear that the Nexus might shatter. How serious will it be if it does? The Nexus is a symbol of the spirit of Avis. It's also the source of our magic. You could say that all of Avis's glorious achievements are founded on the research and application of the Nexus. Without it, there'd have been no progress. Our lives could have turned out even more primitive and barbaric than those in Anbari. To lift the curse, we must run the risk of shattering the Nexus. But if the curse isn't lifted, then Aphis is doomed. But please, keep this between us. If the other factions knew, they would never allow it. So, I must carefully consider the consequences. Tanrius did leave us a way to repair the Nexus. Is something else worrying you? I... well... I just hope everything goes smoothly. There's something else. Have you heard of Petrius's Freethinker Scholars? Hmm... yes. But there are only a handful of them. I thought they might even be just a legend. Well, I came across them in the deeps. Those physically are obsessed with magic. What? You mean they actually exist? Yes, and they're unwilling to do anything that would harm life. They're directly opposed to Petrius's approach to research. That goes along with what I'd heard. Hmm, if used in the right way, then magic may be the best tool for developing a civilization. Hmm, what? Hilda, I'm very interested in the knowledge that the scholars possess. I'd really like to talk to them. Perhaps I could send Bion to meet with them, if they're willing. Sounds good. Is there anything I can do? If you have time, you could ask if they'd be willing to meet. Outside the shelter, naturally. So, just meet with you? Yes. There's one more thing. Minerva, I... have a soft father. I see. Are you alright? Aren't you worried I might go after him? I am, but you chose to come back and tell me. That shows me you're not planning to betray our agreement. And for that, I am grateful. <sighs> As my commander, he ordered me back to Anbari. He says a soldier shouldn't be doing what I'm doing. I don't know what I should do. I want to stay here, of course. But if I stay too long, I'd be disobeying an order. If I wait until this is over, I could be severely punished. We've had plenty of opportunities to return, and I haven't stopped you. So, why are you still here? <sighs> because if I leave Aphis like this, I know I'll regret it. And why not be a hero? Not everyone has the chance to stand on such a glorious stage. However, I understand.
understand that you're struggling. There are times when I question myself, too. We all face choices. The important thing is that we don't have any regrets. <sighs> Thank you. Well then, time is of the essence. Can I bother you? Sure. That's because it's not just his son. I've never seen a phylactite. What? I didn't believe it at first. It was only when I analyzed the magic energy... He doesn't... So is he even still Arrhenius? That's a good question. I was thinking the same thing. In his words, I need some time to observe him and to talk with him some more before I can understand everything that's happened. Looks like the people in Styx have gone through something unimaginable. Out... All right, guys, so we'm going to stop here and we'll head to the plaza in the next episode and we'll see what our conclusion is.